or in the class? Will it affect marks and ranks? Anyhow, even though this is giving more share to children for participating in this process of learning, there won't be any difference. Actually, more development will be there, will be there, and their presentation skills also will be more. So definitely, they can get a better result also. And another thing is, there is a need for a radical reconstruction of our educational system. Then, more cognitive spirit is very essential always. But it should not be in such a way to make parents mad running after the ranks and result. So, anyhow, the two questions here. Srinivasar's question is that, as parents give more importance to result, will they allow the children will they allow the children for not getting this? Will they allow the children for getting lesser marks or for getting more development? Actually, these are interrelated. Those who, who are personally developed, means those who are intellectually developed, those who are who, who are developed in all the ways, definitely can go for achieving ultimate results, very fine results. So That's you mean to say uh, student stock is not going to affect results? Yes, so uh, parents' uh, rejection or something like that is out of place. Perhaps we should give it a try and uh, see that rather than uh, being very conservative and think that uh, we can get results only this way. Uh, this is what you want to say. Yeah, any other uh, question from, uh, questions from the audience? You know, saying that uh, a good listener is always a good speaker. So here, the society needs good speakers. So we have a question here, who should speak? Teacher or a student? So when a student listens to the teacher, in future he may become a good speaker. Okay. Okay, that's your take. What's your question, Mr. Mahesh? What is the ratio of, uh, or what is the ratio between the student and the uh, lecturer or the teacher? My problem is, I don't think there is any ratio. Why? Because sky is the only limit uh, to share knowledge between the uh, student and the teacher because uh, because it depends on the concept that we are dealing in the classrooms. What do you say, sir? I think so. That is. What do you people think about? Uh, to make each one of us introspect, like at the end of the class, that uh, what was the student of my talk time in my class, which is just completed now. Uh, have I given enough chance? And how much time did I talk? And how much time did the same talk? We often talk about the developing communication skills. See, at the end of their graduation, they go to communication skill classes. Develop their at the end of their engineering, they think of improving their communication skills. Whereas language is developed at a much uh, younger age. And uh, if you have asked my opinion, I don't know if, uh, if you have asked me or if you have asked me So, fine. Asked by the students. Yeah, thank you for raising that. Part of syllabus can be taught by students is one of the questions uh, uh, raised in the questionnaire. And uh, teachers uh, said that no. Most of them said no. Students said yes. So, I mean, this is the uh, uh, only question where there is a difference between the student response and uh, teacher response apart from the first question, silent classes. Uh, in other areas, most of uh, they seem to agree almost, uh, they are close in their answers. But in this case, students feel that they can teach some part of the syllabus. Whereas teachers uh, feel that to a lesser extent, uh, that maybe they cannot. So. Uh, I would like to... Uh, I was given... Uh, the teacher asked to come up with an idea of conservation of plants and animals and the students have come up with a role play. Yeah? So here, in place of explaining the whole lesson which has some 20 pages or 25 pages, the concept is easily understood by a small play where they are conserving the seagulls by taking an initiative. The child has taken the initiative to throw the seagulls into the 
and it is an initiative. So why don't we take the initiative starting from today onwards, at least from this uh, birthday of Dr. Sarvev Pali Radha Krishna's birthday.
ఉంటారంటే బుష్ అన్నారు బుష్ అంటే పొయ్యంగా ప్రాక్టీస్ అంటే సక్సెస్ హ్యాపీనెస్ అది వాళ్ళకు లభించాలని మన టీచర్ గా మన గైడెన్స్ ఇవ్వడం అనేది చాలా చాలా ముఖ్యమైన నాలుగు వెరీ నైస్ క్వశ్చన్ అని ఐమ్ ఆల్రెడీ టోల్డ్ వైల్ వీఆర్ ఇంట్రడ్యూసింగ్ ద టాపిక్ వీఆర్ గివింగ్ ఛాన్స్ టు ద స్టూడెంట్ డ్యూ టు ద ఏజ్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ ద మోర్ కంటెంట్ విల్ అండర్స్టాండ్ బై డిస్కసింగ్ అమాంగ్ దెమ్ గర్ ఆఫ్ ది క్లాస్ క్లాస్మేట్స్ అదర్ దాన్ ద టీచర్ సో వీఆర్ గివింగ్ సమ్ ఛాన్స్ టు ద స్టూడెంట్ సో only day friends are uh, discussing about the topic so definitely slow learner will catch the content somewhat then uh, small b equilibrium will come after that we are uh, classing the complete content so slow learner also will get some knowledge from the class yeah so some energy transformation is also right. yeah right and actually says here that we have to uh, calculate them into group activity so group activities of two types homogeneous activities and heterogeneous activities so homogeneous activities are usually done uh, of same kind of rank level when you think of heterogeneous activities here all the three levels of the students are added and activities are connected where the the top learners or the good learners will explain the content or concept to the other two levels so interaction between these three levels and learning by learning by the peer is most important uh, thing that is taking place here where the students can learn in the all the three levels what i think so okay. so uh, i mean to sum up like uh, what telepathy and uh, uh, gauri shankar sir have uh, told is like peer peer group learning is equally important a slow learner may learn faster from his friend the through his friend rather than from the teacher sometimes and we often see that also during revision courses and not revision time and all they approach one of their friends and their friends explain some part of it and uh, they tend to do better in those questions we often uh, see that sometimes friends go to i mean uh, students go to their friend's house and friends explain uh, some part of it and they uh, try to answer from that and uh, uh, perhaps we should come out from the idea that uh, uh it is the sole domain of the teacher knowledge is the sole domain of the teacher when teacher is not the only source of knowledge they can get it through different sources but uh, as i remember your question is uh, like how can slow learners come and talk said, to that uh, my answer would be uh, trust and lack of threat in the class if we can create an atmosphere where wrong answers are not locked in or no sarcastic remarks are made either by the friends or by the students then perhaps more and more people would come forward to speak so it's a matter of trust and lack of threat in the classroom atmosphere that would perhaps make students speak better thank you uh yeah all the questions are from yeah the first time we have one question from the lady side and the student in the class in that one of the student may try to explain the topic uh, beyond the limit how will respond the teacher that student okay okay uh, whatever i could get i'll just try to short answer then we can ask him to go uh for further research just we will give the answer okay. short answer we'll give a short answer, a short answer. and ask him to refer more refer more so also we can stop there by giving short answer and later we can ask him to you come up with your uh, information then we will discuss later in our free time after study for the completion and all yeah perhaps then we can uh, we can we can hear that now we give them a chance we give them a chance yeah this reminds me of a statement made by this uh, mahadevan who is secretary of amti uh, he mentioned in the conference uh, uh, which is conducted in our synergy school that the most neglected student in the class is the top student 
he is most neglected because teacher is more focused on that average student and the student who fails and this zeal of this top student who wants to know more is often neglected because he is always cut short somewhere where he wants to learn more. But you think if we can spend some time even after the class or in the homework time or some time or maybe at least after the school hours, perhaps that can be increased. This is your take on that. So give the answer.